Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're going to be looking at The Incredible Hulk number 141. Okay, so this is Hulk 141, or that's what the original color would, cover would look like. It's another True Believers. It only cost a dollar, so I'm a sucker for these. I love to get them because you can get to read comics that are from eras that you never read before. I love Doc Samson, so I'm guessing this is the introduction of Doc Samson, and this is why it's being reprinted. But this is originally from 1968, so that's so cool. And the thing I also love about it, aside from the affordable dollar price, is that it's printed um, on newer paper, you know, with better printing process, so you get to see the art looking the way closer to the way it should than ever before, I'm guessing. Anyway, so let's see, Roy Thomas is writing this. Herb Trimpey, it is pronounced Trimpey. Thanks to my friend Matt for telling me that. We're always uh, telling each other how to <laughs> I mean, it's important, you know, uh, to pronounce comic creators' names correctly, especially if you respect them. And anyway, John Severin, is inking and it's funny because i'm not super familiar with john severin i know he's a comic book legend um uh i'm more familiar with his wife was actually a hulk artist so i don't know if they worked in tandem or who if he if she followed him or how that happened super cool whatever though that a woman back in the day long before you know talk about breaking that glass or smashing that glass ceiling Good for Marie Severin for that. And her art was super cool, too. Anyway, this looks like his inks. He did a uh, Max series. Remember when Marvel was trying to do, like, their adult line called Max? You know, like, for mature readers. Like, basically, their Vertigo. And it was Rawhide Kid, who was, like, a gay cowboy character. And he drew that. And I loved the art. I thought it was amazing. So it's fun to see this art, especially knowing that Doc Samson is coming and this is sort of the Hulk I remember from my childhood. I didn't read Hulk that much until Todd McFarlane came on. <clears throat> and then I was hooked on Peter David's um, Incredible Hulk. But this is like classic, angry, purple pants Hulk. I just love comics. There's such a sort of, I don't know, genuineness and naivety to them and just... Like, I don't know, so many kids grew up on these and just, you get lost in the stories. And I love this tra casual transformation into the Hulk. It's funny because Herb Trimpey isn't an artist that I would think of one way or another. I mean, and now I look back on it and like totally amazing. Love his art. It looks so good. It seemed kind of boring to me compared to like John Byrne or George Perez or Art Adams or those types but now I look at it and I'm falling in love with this art because it's freaking amazing and he draws a cool Hulk. I love this Doc Samson looking like a freaking Fabio. He should be on a romance cover. I mean in this costume is so great. John Byrne got rid of it on his run with that for that red leather um you know biker jumpsuit that was you know super appropriate at the time i guess but give me this red lightning bolt muscle man shirt with the big yellow belt and those boots with the killer seam at the front i mean stop it <laughs> oh and he was only exposed to like a certain amount of gamma radiation like um you know he wasn't whole hog like bruce banner and that's why He's not as strong as the Hulk, but he can clearly work his way around a, a jungle gym here and um, lift weights and, and take women out on dates and I don't know. Anyway, but this is fun. I kind of want to read like every back issue of the Hulk now and see if it's as fantastic as this is. <laughs> I love the look on his face right there. That's killing me. Anyway, this art is so much fun. You guys need to check out like these old True Believers or old comic books. The, I think that especially now that comics are going up to like five and six dollars or whatever, com back issues are more affordable and they're better. The art is better. The quality is great. 
I think that could oddly turn the comic book industry on its ear or be the wake up call it needs to make better comics. Not to say that there aren't good comics out there, but if you're looking for a fun, affordable way to collect comics because they're getting so unaffordable and they're shooting themselves in the foot like they always do, I recommend back issues or cheap reprints. There you go. Anyway, please subscribe to my channel, hit like, and I'll bring you some more content later. All right, thanks guys.